Motherboards with IPMI functionality used with older versions of IPMI firmware are affected by many security vulnerabilities. A possible solution involves the use of private IP addresses for IPMI interfaces and configuration of a suitable proxy server. In this case, the proxy server will have the role of an intermediary between the end client and Easy DCIM. Thanks to it, the client will be able to use a KVM console while you can keep your infrastructure secure. In addition, the proxy server can be useful if Easy DCIM does not have an access to a private pool of IP addresses. In such cases, all the commands for starting, restarting, or shutting down the device will be executed through the proxy server. Before configuring a proxy server, you need to prepare a virtual machine or dedicated server based on Debian 9 or Ubuntu 18.04 LTS operating system. In order to add a new proxy server, use the IPMI integration module and go to the Proxy Server section. From the action menu, select the Add Proxy Server option, which allows you to add and configure a remote connection to the proxy server. The server configuration form contains basic fields such as name, that is the name of the server, and use in locations, enabling the selection of locations within which the proxy server will work. Communication between Easy DCIM and the proxy server is done using the SSH protocol with appropriate access data. The connection can be authorized with an administrator's password or a private key. In this section, you can also specify the type of your proxy server. The type defines the action that will be performed upon activating the session for a specific server. Currently, you can choose from two predefined options. The first one automatically downloads the Java console applet using the API and launches it in a secure environment. The second option launches the Chrome web browser in a special mode with access to the device's factory management panel. Additionally, in the Automatically Close Sessions field, you can specify after what period of time since the creation a VNC session should be automatically closed. After the proxy server has been successfully created, you need to install the necessary system packages using the built-in installer. After the proxy server has been successfully created, you need to install the necessary system packages using the built-in installer. The installation usually takes a few minutes and will be automatically completed once the system determines that all the necessary system dependencies have been met. In order to verify that everything works as expected, access the Device Summary View and use the No VNC KVM Console option which automatically establishes a VNC session. Even though the VNC session is started in a secure environment, you should make sure that the proxy server is properly protected against unauthorized access. Please refer to our documentation for more information on how to secure the server. You can move to the Proxy Session section for an overview of all created VNC sessions. If you don't need a remote session anymore, you can easily close it using the appropriate button.